you very much, Verit. So, let us start with the ceremony. Dear Mindy Weisel, distinguished family, Sheldon, Ariane, Jessica, and Bill, distinguished friends and guests, a warm welcome to all of you on this special occasion here in the garden of the uh, residence of the German ambassadors to Israel. We have gathered here today to, in honor of you, dear Mindy. On behalf of the federal president, Steinmeier, it's a great honor and pleasure to award you today the cross of the Order of Merit of the Federal Republic of Germany. This Order of Merit is the highest tribute the Federal Republic of Germany can pay to individuals to express, above all, gratitude and recognition and to draw public attention to their achievements who are of an outstanding particular high value for the German society. We want to show you our gratitude for your tireless commitment to strengthen the work of commemoration of the Holocaust and at the same time strengthen the path of reconciliation between our countries and peoples. We want to show our gratitude for your contribution to fostering German-Israeli and German-Jewish relations and the mutual understanding between our peoples. With your art, you are helping us to commemorate the past and to look into the future. For your recently published book, you have chosen the title, After, offering us the hope that an after was possible after the Shoah and showing us a door to reconciliation. I would like to thank you from the bottom of my heart for accepting this decoration as a token of appreciation for your important artistic work, which is the result of your lifelong dedication to coming to terms with a very painful past, the experiences of your parents and your family during the Shoah. Dear Mindy, I have come to meet you with the help of two close friends of yours <coughs> who are very esteemed colleagues of mine, Andreas and Ulrich, but I personally haven't known you for so much time. So I apologize, but please allow me to mention just some facts of your impressive life. Your life began at a place that used to be, until little time earlier, a place of mass murder, a place of death. Your life began in the former concentration camp Bergen-Belsen, which after the liberation by the British Army in 1945 had become a camp for displaced persons. Your parents, Lily and Amran, were originally from Romania and Hungary. They had only barely survived the horrors of the Holocaust. They had lived through the horrors of Auschwitz. They had survived Auschwitz. Many members of your family had perished. You were born at a moment in time when only gradually the monstrosity, the unbelievable dimension of the catastrophe of the Shoah had become clear. You were born in a sea of shock and suffering, and you became the light of hope and future to your parents. When you were only a tiny little kid, the three of you emigrated to New York and later moved on to California. Mm -hmm. And today, Jerusalem and Washington sort of share your life. Like the children of other survivors, you had to grow up with the tragedy and trauma of your parents with their great emotional pain and suffering. But despite having survived such horrific crimes of Nazi Germany against the Jewish people, your mom and your dad succeeded in building a new life and a new family with you and your siblings. For your work of art, you made a tough decision. You choose to deal with the Shoah trauma of your parents and the experience of your family. Your art is a response to the dark past 
but you commit yourself to show light, colors, and love. You said, and I quote you, when I speak publicly, I speak about the survival of beauty, the importance of beauty on our lives. You believe in beauty as the genuine, this is I read in your book, antidote to human pain and suffering. With this belief, you are giving one possible answer to Theodor Adorno's famous remark to write poetry after Auschwitz is barbaric. Adorno alluded not only to poetry, but to all modes of painful question of whether the language of art might ever be able to communicate in large-scale suffering and catastrophe inflicted by humans upon humans. And I personally think it's not difficult at all to follow him and to say, in any case, this is impossible when it comes to the Shoah. But your answer is different. The answer given through your art is different. You strive to show through art human suffering, but at the same time, you are striving to not allowing us to stay in despair. You show us beauty and light. Maybe just as your own life in the former concentration camp must have given a spark of light and hope to your parents and other survivors around your families, you choose, as you say, the language of beauty. It was a drawing of, of your father that made you aware that a little piece of art is able to change, to change the world, that a little piece of art has the enormous power and ability to hold onto memory, experiences, and emotions. And you succeed to combine the pain and memory of the past with a search for reconciliation, guiding the way from suffering to redemption, from despair to hope, from the past to the future. Fourteen years ago, in 2007, I read, you visited Germany for the first time after you had left as a young child. Many more visits followed since, in which you dedicated yourself to preserving the memory of the past while building mutual trust and understanding. Allow me to take this opportunity of our ceremony here today to deeply bow to your parents, Lili and Amram, who had to suffer the horrors committed in the name of my country, and to bow to all members of your family who perished during the Shoah, knowing that your father will be able to take part in this ceremony moves us all a lot. Germany is grateful for your willingness to commit yourself to a direct dialogue with Germans of all ages and especially with young Germans. You do not ha even hesitate in meeting and openly talking to Germans of your generation and descendants of Nazi Germans. Your work and your commitment in life to share your family story and continuously engage in an open dialogue about it with everyone is a very important contribution in fighting also anti-Semitism and keeping, of course, the memory of the Shoah alive and it's so much appreciated. Dear Mindy, I wish to thank you for your positive look on life, your openness to see a better future, and for your art. And before I ask you to join me here to award you this order of merit, let me again underline how deeply grateful we are that you consented to accept this distinction from Germany. So I would now like to read this document that is, if you want to come, unfortunately in German, so I will read it in German. So it reads, Verleihungsurkunde in Anerkennung der um die Bundesrepublik Deutschland erworbenen besonderen Verdienste verleihe ich Frau Mindy Weise das Verdienstkreuz am Bande des Verdienstordens der Bundesrepublik Deutschland, Berlin, am 7. August 2021, der Bundespräsident Frank-Walter Steinmeier. And now, 
we have to do this together. And I'm always a bit trembling, and uh, so we try to do that. I have very cold hands. <laughs> I think you can just uh, breathe a little bit and we let Verit work a bit uh, now <laughs> and then you... <laughs> Would you like to do that, Verit? Of course. Of course. Thank you very much. If you have enough breath, I would invite you now to say some words to your family and your friends. First of all, to look around the room and see the people I love most. Um, ambassador, my dear Ambassador Vasarina, we do share wonderful friends and Fortunate for me, since I made Aliyah, everybody who comes from Germany calls me. <laughs> so I'm, I'm just thrilled. We had actually a lovely private lunch together, and I got to know the ambassador, and I do feel that you are my new, very warm-hearted, comfortable, loving friend. And to be given this award in Israel, ah, that takes my breath away. I mean, it would have been something to to receive it not for COVID in Germany, but getting it in Israel in this beautiful, as you say, garden is really something. And to my dear family and friends, thank you so much for coming and being here and sharing with me. My daughter Jessica, thank you for making the trip. To my daughter Carolyn, who wishes she could. Um, all my love and to my husband Shelley, who brought me to Israel and took me to Germany. Um, so thank you many times. And to Vera, thank you for that beautiful music. The only problem with this music, Vera and I talked to select the music. The four songs that Vera is playing are the songs I have painted to for 40 years. So to sit here and listen to the music, I like want to get up and paint, you know. It's like, really, especially um, Rami Kleinstein and all of it. Thank you, Vera. What I would like to do is read you a quote. What I'll be doing is talking really for maybe five minutes. Um, I dedicate this, this, this medal. No one's ever given me a medal. It's beautiful. And I now have a new red thing to wear. Um, I, I dedicate this medal to my two grandmothers, who I'm named after. Bella and Mindy, who I never met, and to my family that was lost in the Shoah. But really, I dedicate this now to my children and grandchildren. They are my after. And I ask all my friends to move forward. We all have a before. There is not a person sitting here who does not have a before. And this book, um, opens with a quote that I love very much. It's by Aaron Appelfeld, and it says, it's from his book, Aaron Appelfeld's book, Beyond Despair. And it says, who can return the violated honor of the self? I cannot claim that art is all powerful magic or pure faith, but one virtue cannot be denied art. It's loyalty to the individual, it's devotion to his suffering and fears, and the bit of light which occasionally sparkles within him. This is why I work. 
I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know where it comes from. But when I find that moment of light, I am very, very, very grateful. What I thought I would do is, because there, you know, they say there's nothing new under the sun. I kind of said it here in the book, so. But I, I would really like to share with you, because this was a great honor, and you all were there when I was on my way and came home and put it in the book. Uh, right before the start of COVID, I was invited to Oxford University to address, to address, um, it was quite an address, at Oxford University in honor of the 75th um, International Holocaust Remembrance Day. And in the book, um, I, I have just an excerpt of one of the talks I gave at Oxford, and I'd like to read that because this is how I really feel. If you read nothing else in the book, page 117. My belief in moving forward with love is unshakable. It, it's just unshakable. Despite all the atrocities committed by the Nazis, atrocities that impacted my life profoundly, I simply do not believe in hate. As much as I was raised with a great sadness, a defenseless sadness that is a permanent stain on my heart. I believe that the only antidote to hate is, an express, is, is really expressing your love for my mankind. I believe in kindness and in creating beauty. We must not stand by passively, especially now with everything going on in the world, nor allow hatred to undermine the love we need if we are to live in a civilized world. We must, of course, resist those people who believe that our differences give them license to lash out, as we've recently seen in America. We must not forget the essential message now, as always, only love and a passionate move towards action for the good can enrich our world. And I pray that everybody here and everybody I love and Claudia Sorrell and our friends in Germany, that we continue. Um, the chancellor was just here. Jessica and I heard planes roaring over our heads and it was German and Israeli Air Force in unity flying over Jerusalem. We're living in quite a historic time and I personally am very grateful to be alive and well during it. And I thank the ambassador and president, really the president of the German Federal Republic, Frank Walter Steinmeier, for honoring me with this award. It will definitely get framed, and it will be my only presidential award. <laughs> I thank you so much, unless I live to be 100. Who knows? Okay. <laughs> thank you. Thank <laughs> you.